we're here in Allen, Texas, the birthplace of hockey. That may not be right, but they do love their hockey here. Coach Marty has a lot of weapons on his squad. They are going to attack the ECHL. We cannot wait to show you guys more. Let's get to the ice. We'll make it a five on, uh, just make it a five on all. Five, five on all. Two, one set of D, one line. Hey, listen up. Everybody over the boards except for the D in the next line. Doesn't matter, any three guys, sort it out. You guys are going next. You gotta get the D pucks. Two shots to the point. D to D, D to D, D to D. I think we're actually lucky to, to skate right now with the situation and uh, I would say guys were, uh, were buzzing out there and working hard. If these D are hinging, I'm the guy in the middle, I'm just like this. When he goes back, I'm coming right back through and supporting the puck. So really, this is our first day. We're, we're having full guys on the ice um, due to immigration and then, you know, all the COVID testing. You know, this is the first time that we've had four lines and four sets of D, so, uh, and without any preseason games and planning on cutting it down a little bit, but that's what we're looking at today is, you know, how skilled guys are and, and you know, do they play the game the way we want them to play and it's going to be, it's going to be a little bit of a challenge to get everybody on the same page, but the one thing I know is we're going to be skilled, we're going to be fast, and, and we're going to be physical. You guys are hinging. You're going to back up, assess what's coming. It's going to be one guy. We're going to go D to D and hinge. You're going to drop back. I think it's kind of turned into a little bit of an all-star league. You know, every team has got a lot of players, a lot of good players, and, you know, there's AHL guys coming down, NHL contracted guys coming down. So I think uh, it's definitely going to be a better product on the ice. We'll just do some set breakouts to start. And in a perfect world, it's we're gonna have our centerman swing in her forehand, but for right now, that guy's gonna be covered, so it doesn't matter. Centerman just swing. Whatever side the defense is on, the defense is on this side when we do the set breakout, centerman swing on the opposite side. One forward's gonna pick him up, one forward's gonna be in front, one forward's gonna be at the top of the circle. If he steps out, we wanna to try to keep him from making that pass up to the middle of the ice. Defensemen pick up the other two guys man on man. We're really not gonna do all our stuff now, but I just wanna work on a centerman swinging and the winger picking him up. This guy that picks him up, you gotta stay on the defensive side of that guy all the way down the ice until we get the puck back. Everybody understand that? All right, let's go blue, set, breakout, coming out of that end, white four checking. You know, you start your season building it like an NHL team. We, want, we say we want to have, you know, X amount of size, X amount of skill, X amount of, uh, you know, guys that are hard to play against. We got a lot of guys here, so I think he was just kind of get a, we had a little scrimmage. He was trying to get a look at some guys that he's brought in and hasn't really seen. You know, he was trying to get our feet moving. Obviously, he knows that a lot of us haven't been on the ice very much. We had to do a little bit of quarantining before we came up. And so there's been guys that haven't skated for a couple weeks. Yeah, so back home in Montreal and in Quebec, uh, everything was closed, like the rinks. And uh, but for skating, I had rollerblades, and I skated and uh, played hockey, like uh, street hockey, with my rollerblades. I think the, the ECHL will be really good this year. Uh, there's so many guys available right now, and with the AHL not starting and teams uh, like not playing this year, there's going to be so many guys on the market available. So I think I think uh, the fans are going to get good hockey this year. A lot, I've heard from a lot of different coaches and managers that it's the hardest league to win in because you never know when you're going to lose. You could lose three guys one day. You could have three guys coming in the next day. I think if you have good leadership in this league uh, on your team and a good coach and manager that everything just stays the same. We have a lot of new guys. We're gonna, we could end up with 10, 12 rookies in our lineup uh, come opening night, so um, it's, gonna be, it's gonna be a little bit of a challenge to get everybody on the same page, but the one thing I know is we're gonna be skilled, we're gonna be fast, and, and we're gonna be physical. What's the score here, 2-0, White? White wins. That's a wrap here in Allen, Texas. We had two really good days of hockey. Coach Marty has another awesome team at his disposal. This team, they have a lot of speed and a lot of skill. Uh, I cannot wait to see what they do in the league this year.